हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू खती थ्री डी इन दिस वीडियो आई विल टेल यू हाउ टू एक्सपोर्ट योर सब्सटेंस पेंटर टेक्चर्स एंड यूज इट इन ब्लेंडर फॉर द ब्लेंडर दे आर स्पेसिफिक सेटिंग्स यू हैव टू डू बिफोर यू एक्सपोर्ट इट सम पैरामीटर्स यू हैव टू चेंज एंड इट इज़ अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट स्टेप फॉर एक्सपोर्टिंग द टेक्चर सो यू हैव डन ऑल दिस टेक्चर आई हैव शोन दिस टेक्चरिंग इन माई प्रीवियस थ्री पार्ट नाउ यू हैव टू एक्सपोर्ट द टेक्चर यू क्रिएट इट ओके एंड दियर इज अ लिस्ट ऑफ टेक्चर लिस्ट Uh, you will see this uh, texture set list will be exported separately okay so in order to export the textures all you have to do is go to file and click export textures okay and now uh, it will ask you which texture set uh, to export and by default it is checked at every texture list uh, you don't have to mess it with it leave it as it is click on output directly the default output directory is document adobe substance painter export folder but i create my own directory for example i have created in the desktop called the textures created the folder called the textures okay click on it select the folder and now output templates is a very important step there is no uh, default blender export settings this blender i created myself and whenever i want to export it and use it in blender i choose this default custom uh, palette presets i made okay in order to make this for you all you have to do is uh, these are the default uh, presets you can choose except this one blender which i created click on pbr metallic roughness pbr metallic roughness click on it and you would see all the color channels okay it will export it for you everything let it be default except the normal normal by default if you hover your mouse on it it will show you normal direct x rgb the open gl doesn't use direct x for normal it uses open gl it does not use direct x it uses open gl for in order to change it uh, but i don't have to change this pbr metallic roughness i what i will do is right click on it and duplicate it and rename it for example cycles we are exporting it for cycles it could also work for ev now we have duplicated and renamed it uh, all you have to do is uh, make sure your uh, normal input is selected and at the right hand side you will see normal direct x is selected for this all you have to do is drag normal open gl and place it on the normal rgb it will ask you which channel it should be click on rgb because by default direct x was rgb now you have uh, exported and you have changed your normal format to open gl from direct x and all you have to do is save it uh, these are saved automatically another thing you could do which is uh, optional is add displacement map it has height map by default it works same but you could use a displacement map and uh, first let's see it is a height and it is a gr format okay grayscale format click on create a gray format and uh, name it displacement and uh, place your displacement input into this select gray channel and it created your displacement for you now it is optional you could do you could not i don't i use the height map at displacement now click on list of exports and it will show you all the textures which is are about to export and you can also see the resolution we have selected before it is 4k resolution you just have to export it first let me check the directory folder yeah i haven't changed it uh, but in fact i have changed it okay select the folder desktop everything is set make sure your cycle is selected which you created already list of exports and just click export and it will export all the texture sets for you onto that folder which we created go to that folder which we have selected and you could see all the maps are exported this is the thing you have to do a manual labor you have to create a folder for each and place it on it because it will help you a lot substance painter don't do it for you uh, but you have to do it separately all you have to do is select five three four and five maps and uh, place it on the newly created folder i will speed up this
Now open your file in Blender, the low poly parrot model which I provided which you have practiced and uh, all you have to do in Blender there is an automatic add-on which is a very useful tool. Go to edit and click on preferences, add-ons and search node wrangler tool. It is a very useful tool for the nodes and it works best for adding texture as well adding other things and uh, i will show you click on the body and uh, create a new texture set now after enabling this node wrangler all you have to do is uh, select the principal bsd shader and press ctrl shift t and uh, it will ask you for the directory of the textures uh, go to desktop where you have saved the texture select the body select all this texture and click principal texture setup and it will add all the texture set for you without hassling making you do edit manually okay even the metallic and roughness are non color set to default okay we don't have a metallic map but this not only add is for you you can remove it or add it doesn't matter because there is no metallic on it and uh, just like that select the eyes create a new texture select principal bsdf make sure it is selected not they both otherwise it won't work i select principal df and uh, click press ctrl shift t and go back select the eye uh, eye textures okay select all and click principal texture setup and it will add it for you same thing As you can see, I've added all these textures using the Node Wrangler add-on and this add-on um, makes your workflow very fast. Okay, so this is it folks. This is how you can add your textures in Blender with all these export settings I told you and make sure to remember or note down the settings. All you have to change is to change DirectX normal from DirectX to OpenGL. So I hope you like this video. I hope you like this series. If you liked it, click subscribe button, share it with your friends. Until next time, I'll be making more tutorials on sculpting, texturing and Photoshop tutorials. Okay, goodbye, take care and I will see you in the next video.